everybody. We're at Las Vegas Motor Speedway tonight for the Fort Worth Screen Printing Xfinity Series. So we watch the 05 Downey doing their qualifying. Cody makes a great point. I should hit this button. <laughs> Better. Mama Sneed is in. Welcome on in. Hello, everybody. Five minute qualifying session here. Watch everybody. There's Jay Munch in the 69. I don't see anything for Tackwell, so I'm going to give him a 19. I don't see anything for Vasquez either. Oi. Red Cell, hello. As we have Trenton on screen doing his quali run. And Manchos currently leads the charts. So far, seven cars put an official lap in. It's Jake Lawrence coming to the straight. Lawrence goes up to the fifth spot, then quickly gets dropped down as Trenton goes to P2 overall. Hayden top of the charts, even though he hasn't been feeling good. John Neckerch is sixth. Jake Lawrence seventh. Jay Munch eighth. Cody Cleaver tenth. Out on track, John Garrett just rolling off the pit lane. Matt Benke currently on his first time lap. I'll watch Cleaver complete his second lap. Hayden with the admin hats. <laughs> Cleaver second lap, 29.81. That should move him up all the way to the fourth spot. Benke, the next car to put a lap time in. 31.08. That'll be bottom of the chart. Let's see if he will save him for lap two. Also on track, John Garrett, Jeremy Shear, Colin Teague, and Travis Scrivetta. Banky comes out turn number four, completes his second lap. See if he'll move up. 29.95. That should move him up one spot. Into 10th ahead of Margison. John Gear will be the next one to put a lap in as he crosses the stripe for his first lap. 30.50. Slots him in and last, but he'll drop to the bottom and try to pick up here. Former Xfinity Series champion John Garrett. Coming around turn four to complete his second lap. See if he's able to pick up it all. 29.92. That'll move him up into 10th. Travis Skirmetta, Labor 12 Toyota. Going to complete his second lap. 29.98. I think he will remain in P12. Colin Teague's first lap put him 14th. Most cars have picked up lap two. Let's see if he gets down to the 29s. He will. 29.77. That's going to be a good lap up into the top five. Puts him fourth quick. Here comes Jeremy Scherer. A 29.999 for Scherer. Puts him 14th. And that is going to do it for qualifying. Everyone has completed the runs that wanted to. Blake Giglio, Andrew Beach, Will Asherbetter, J.R. Deal, Sam Vanderplatt, and Daniel Wallen do not complete laps. Here we go into race mode. We can get everybody out on track. Hayden Lowell very quickly on track. I appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Go have a quick chat with the not feeling well Hayden Lowell. Let's see snakes the pole here for us. Well, Hayden, I heard you're not feeling well, but setting it on the pole has to make you feel a little better. Somebody turn me lap one. There you go. I mean, you got your teammate on the outside. He could do it for you. He should have doored me last night. <laughs> to 
making that race tonight? To not let to so he could have won the race. I mean, he's not that kind of driver. Yeah, but he still should have. It is what it is. Well, do you think you can make it 120 laps, or are you definitely just going to run a lap and leave? Uh, it depends on how much of the race is green. If it starts getting a rash of yellows, you very well might see this number 56 Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet Camaro there one second and then gone the next. I don't like you're dealing with a lot of sinus issues. The nose is blocked up. The temps 101. Life is great. Somebody turn me. <laughs> well, it's a lot uh, a thing in real racing where the race car always makes you feel better. Maybe that'll translate to sim racing. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I maybe I can forget about it. Maybe the alcohol kicks in. Who knows? <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Thanks, Andrew, for the tip. <laughs> I'm guessing he went the alcohol. That's great. Hayden Lowell is your full sitter. Not feeling well, as you heard there. We'll see if he has the ability to tough it out tonight. We got our starting lineup music presented by our friends at Labor 12. Hayden Lowell in the Napa Chevy. Very sick, but on the pole. Trent Sneed, his teammate, starts second in the Seed Tombstone Game Farm Chevrolet. Ethan Evers, Fort Worth Screen DGS Racing Chevy, starts in the third spot. Colin Teague, the highlighter, starts in fourth. Cody Cleaver, National Fallen Firefighter Foundation Chevrolet, starts in the fifth spot. John Neckridge in the Artemis Esports Chevy, starts in sixth. Gatlin Downing, the 05 Drive Smart Chevrolet, starts in 7th. Jake Lawrence, 10 tenths Toyota in 8th. Ian Muttros in the unsponsored number 1, starts in the ninth spot. Jay Much, the Arc.io Toyota in 10th. John T. Garrett, Fort Worth Screen Printing Chevy, starts in 11th spot. Matt Benke in the Scale Train Chevrolet, starts in 12th. So Travis Scrimetta, there he is, starting 13th in the Labor 12 Toyota. Jeremy Scherer, the Circle Chevy, will roll off in 14th. Zach Margison in his... Anime, usually a gamer subs Chevrolet, starting in the 15th spot. Blake Giglio, Artemis Esports Chevrolet, doesn't get a qualifying lap in, so he'll start 16th. Try to work his way up. Andrew Beach, the Dale Jr. Side Pipes Fit and Venom's Throwback Chevrolet, starts in 17th. Daniel Wallen going to start it from the pits in 18th. Sam Vanderplatz in the Crocs Ford, starts in 19th. JR Deal in the Cave City Roleplay Toyota, starts in 20th. Will Asherbetter, Fort Worth Screen Printing DDS Racing Chevrolet, starts in 21st. And that is your 21 starters here from Las Vegas. Field works down the back stretch. We're a half a lap away from getting this thing green. I am half distracted because I'm watching the Atlantic 10 basketball tournament, where so far today every double by team has lost. And currently the last standing double by team is losing. It's crazy. Very crazy tournament. Might have one, two, three, and four all lose on the same day. Wild. Yes, Scott, why aren't you in the race? You missed the race because iRacing wouldn't let you log in. Oh, my gosh. Ghost Spiders, they lost. They were the number one seed and lost today. <laughs> Rowdy with the correct answer there. Green flags out in the area are underway from Las Vegas. Hayden Lowell and Trent Seed lead us to the turn one. Aiden going to take the lead. Trenton settles in behind in second. Ethan Evers in third. Back side by side for the fourth spot is the two of Cody Cleaver and the 50 of Colin Teague. Aiden all the way up to the wall. Trenton's going to duck to the inside. Aiden leads lap one, gets the bonus point. Trenton Steed charges to the lead on the inside lane. I'm sure that'll make the Trenton Steed fans happy. This 81 car leads at Vegas. Ethan Evers, Colin Teague now battle for third. It's Colin Teague's made that outside line work. Colin Teague going to take over third from Ethan Evers. The highlighter on the move. Cody Cleaver looks to the outside of the eight car. Colin Teague peeking outside of the 56. Caden Lowell. Sure, Hayden can't miss that car in the mirror. Colin trying to roll the outside of the 56. Very Iowa like or Kansas like line. Not used to seeing that at Vegas, but he's making it work. And the highlighter. Going power around the outside of the Napa Chevy. Take over second. See if he can run down race leader Trenton Sneed. Trenton out front picking up his lap lead. Hello, Neo. Ethan Evers now trying to hold off Cody Cleaver. Cleaver looking to the outside. Cleaver has teammate Ian Montrose behind him. 
Rowdy trolls the chat. And we're single file. Back to Downey. Downey has the 88 of Margeson looking low and the 6 of Neckridge looking high. Oh no. Reports from the Sneed household as we have Storms. Race leader Trenton Sneed. Under Storm situations there in Bama. Margeson 8th. Downey ninth. John Garrett last card in top 10. We go single file all the way through the back of the field as that was the 41 of Vanderplatt getting the outside wall coming off turn two. You see the 41 has been rubbed off. He got a little out of shape coming out of the final turn. Colin Teague meanwhile is run down race leader Trenton Steed in the 81. We'll see if he has plans on trying to make a move or see he's going to save fuel and tuck in behind. Trenton Steed told us about 30 to 31 laps on the fuel tank. We could see a 30, 60, 90 kind of race for fuel strategy. That extra lap will give you a little bit of possibility of jumping around on strategy. Maybe try to undercut or overcut. As we go to a wide shot, and Trenton Sneed may have had the storms. A race leader. May have had the storms hit in, just disappeared on us. Trenton Steed was leading the race and has vanished. Oh, he just reappeared as the leader. <laughs> he's back and he's getting hit by Colin Teague and he disappears again. He gone again. He appeared, bounced off Colin Teague, and disappeared again. Poor Trenton. Judging by none of the family talking in chat either, I think it was a whole household thing. And halftime in the A-10 final game of the day. It was 30-28, Duquesne over Dayton. It was much larger lead. However, Dayton hard team to keep down. So Colin Teague takes over as a race leader. Looking for damage on that car as he did make contact. And you see a little on that right front fender. Let's try to get a better look. See how if we can see here. You see that far side. It is buckled. Ooh, the rear chase can show us a little better picture. There you go. That is from the contact with Trenton Steed when Trenton reappeared. This is definitely one of those tracks where arrow matters. In fact, Hayden Lowell's looking to the inside. Looks like Hayden Lowell trying to take over the race lead from Colin Teague. He deals with that damage on the right front. Going to slow him down on an aero dependent track like this. Trenton, unfortunately, not come back as showing on the scoring three laps down. If he is able to come back at all, currently scored 21st. All of the cars still in the lead lap, including Daniel Lawallen, who started from the pits. He thought there'd be a wreck early on. He didn't want to be a part of it. Daniel shown 20th, still in the lead lap. Colin Teague hanging tough with that right side damage. I thought it would be an automatic foregone conclusion that everybody would start dropping him back. Has not happened so far. Colin Teague is able to use that outside line and hang right in there with that damage. Aiden leads that lap. The three drivers have led the race so far. Colin T, Trenton Seed, and Hayden Lowell. Rowdy, that would be pretty entertaining. <laughs> Trenton just showed up as the winner at the end. Surprise! Alright, so that's kind of settled. Ethan Evers is trying to take second now. Gets inside Colin Teague as the top five have broken away from the field. 
Cleaver's up the hill. Go, you stay off of him barely. <laughs> he had to check up, though. That's what allowed Cleaver to get to his outside. Cleaver hits the outside wall. So did Gatlin Downey. The 05 car went for a wild ride off the corner. He's going to give up fifth or sixth to Margeson. Jake Lawrence is trying to move around the outside as well. We're three wide here in this pack. Holy crap. John Garrett wondering what the hell he's gotten himself into. <laughs> he's surrounded by all this. Three wide, they go into turn one. They're going to go four wide down the back stretch of Las Vegas. Why not? <laughs> Lap 15, let's go four wide. Plenty of room. Just don't do it in the corner. Blake Giglio in the 16, trying to make his way through. Got Neckridge, his teammate, right behind him. They're both working the bottom, as we've seen Blake do time and time again lately. Tries to save his tires and run the low lane. They're three wide again going into one. Pretty impressed with this group with all the three wides and no crashing. Hope I don't just jinx them. John Garrett going to dive way to the bottom. Take a very low entry into the corner. That's going to make him tight into the corner. He drifts up to the middle. Gatlin down. He's in the fence. Fortunately, doesn't jerk the wheel down. Jay Munch, Margison, and the 16 of Giglio briefly three wide. Margison backed out of it a little bit. Travis Kermetta trying to get to the front of this group. This is all six going back. As we said, that top five is kind of pulled away from the field by over a second. Still three wide. They're going to get together. Blake Giglio made a little bit of contact. Hangs on to it. And he stays digging there on the inside lane going into three. Outstanding racing here. Blake gets up to that seventh spot. Jay Munch, eighth. Jake Lawrence, ninth. Margison, tenth. John Garrett, eleventh. John Neckrich in twelfth. Mac Banky, thirteenth. Kyle Gatlin down and go for that ride. He went from sixth to fourteenth. Jerry Scherer, fifteenth. Vander Platz in sixteenth. Will Asher Renner, seventeenth. Andrew Beach, eighteenth. Way back here. J.R. Deal hanging in there in nineteenth. And Daniel Wallace started from the pits, running twentieth. We had another scramble here. <laughs> have to go back and see what happened. Cars started diving every which way. Someone hits the wall there. Let's watch them into the corner. Going up off the corner. Neckridge hits the outside wall. Margerson gets way out of shape in the 88. So the 6 and 88 both have a adventurous exit of turn 2. Margerson drops to 15th. And Neckridge has dropped to 17th. Those two cars hit the wall pretty hard. They are falling back here. Cody Cleaver takes over the second spot from Ethan Evers. Colin T running fourth, Montrose fifth. Blake Giglio is starting to run him down with the tire saving strategy he was on. Less than a second now to Montrose. Montrose, a guy that tends to burn his tires up, kind of like Mike Edwards does. They'll uh, use them up while they got them and then start drifting back in the runs. Kind of famous for that and he seems to be doing that again as he's falling back to Blake Giglio along with Colin Teague. Out front it's still Hayden Lowell. Has to be feeling good out front under the green flag. Cody Cleaver, Ethan Evers second and third knows the tail. Cleaver recently getting this spot from Ethan. Ethan not giving it up yet. Charges back to the inside line. single file for most of the field right now. Let's set a group here. 11, 12, 13, 14th all bunched up together. Thank you. Downey, Shearer, and Vanderplatt. Downey looking inside Banky. It looks like both Margerson and Neckrich we saw them both hit the wall coming off of turn two. They have both gone to the pit lane and are now both one lap down. Marcus in 19th and Neckrich in 20th. Both cars taking four tires and fuel and perhaps they're faster pairs. Let's check in and see. Three wide once again back here. There's a lot of racing going on deep in the back. Let's take a look at our faster pairs, see if they both use them and they did. So those two cars hit the outside wall so hard coming off turn two. Had to take the faster pairs under green. Vanderplatz making the move on Jeremy Shearer. 
Catholic Giglio is gotten by Colin Teague and Ian Montrose up to the fourth spot. It's now 1.2 seconds behind Ethan Evers and Cody Cleaver. Jabo with the huge raid. How did Road to Pro go, buddy? I was in there lurking while you were finishing up, but we had to come over here and broadcast. <laughs> Hopefully it went decent. See Hayden Lowell leading here. In the 56 of Napa Chevrolet. Then you have Cody Cleaver in second. Fallen National Fallen Firefighter Foundation Chevrolet. Ethan Evers, Fort Worth Green Chevy in third. Blake Iglio's Artemis Esports. He started deep in the field back in 16th. He's starting to make his way to the front. All the way up to fourth. Cheers, Mr. Jabo. Thanks for bringing your stream by. How was it? Hopefully... The road to pro finish was decent. How about it? Yes, sir. <laughs> I think I still have you up lurking, so I think I just raided myself, technically. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Red Rum. Welcome on in. Normally, that's playing some Gangnam Style for you, but we uh, have the alerts turned off during the broadcast since YouTube gets real mad at us for the music. Looking for some action out here. Looks like deep in the field we still got some. Vanderplatz and the 35 of Matt Benke battle for 12th. How about it? How about it? Well, come on in, everybody. We're watching the Fort Worth Screen Printing Xfinity Series, part of the Sidewinder Racing Leagues. If you'd like to check out more in our leagues, check us out at dgsracing.com. We got nine different leagues, six nights a week. A little bit of contact there between the 41 and 35. Coming off turn number four, they're going to get it sorted out, though. We look back for some action. Blake Giglio is running down Ethan Evers. He's moved up to the high lane. It's a battle for third between the 8 and 16. Blake Giglio in the Artemis Esports Chevrolet going to make the move on the high side going into turn number three. And Ethan Evers will be dropped back to fourth. Blake now has a second to run down Cody Cleaver in the two car. Cody with a resub. Appreciate you, my guy. 30 months in a row. What an absolute legend. It's like Vanderplatz and Benke aren't done battling. This battle for 12th is still going on, and now Jeremy Scherer becomes a part of it in the 15. Putting on a good show for us. The other closest battle we have, this is the two Toyotas going at it. Travis Scrimetta and Colin Teague, along with Jay Munch right behind. By the numbers, one of the closest battles on track. Fabulous Las Vegas. been green since the start despite some cars bouncing off the fence out of turn number two cody gifted a sub to jabo 371 gifted subs in the channel appreciate you and all the support you do for our community my guy appreciate it so much jabo welcome to the sub club now you'll have to run some srl with us <laughs> it's definitely good content let's see what the drivers are chatting about Nothing right now. <laughs> Very quiet. Coming up on green flag pit stops. Trenton said they can go about 30 to 31 laps. And we're looking at lap 30 here. Keep an eye on these scoring tickers and see who peels off. Make stops. Hayden's going to stay out. As is Cleaver and Giglio. Top five all stay out. I think that was Jeremy Scherer said he's pitting. Here he comes, the 15, out of the 14th spot. That car hits the pit lane all by himself. Looks like he's going to try to do the 30-60-90 split up of this one. Hell yeah, Jabo. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful emotes. Hayden's lead is two seconds. We were hoping Jabo would come in and challenge him, but he had to run Road to Pro. <laughs> John, I'm coming in. That sounds like Roger. maybe Colin Teague. 50 car, highlighter. Ethan Evers also hitting the pit lane out of the top five. There's Evers on the pit lane. Colin Teague makes his way down. And I think Andrew Beach, 71 car. Daniel stays out. The two cars that pit. There is the 88 Margison. And the 31 of Asher Brenner. Remember Margison and... Neckrich, those two cars pit under green. They hit the turn two wall exit so hard they had to come down and take their faster pair under green. It's like the drivers have been able to extend their fuel run a little bit past what Trenton told us. 
sometimes iRacing gets it wrong. Sometimes the drivers clutch it into the quarters when they get a lead and they can keep going longer. While it's in the chat, don't forget about our SRX showdown. That is going to be Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern, $10 entry, a 50-50 fundraiser for our Sidewinder community. Help our admins put on all these hosted events for you. It's going to be at the track at Eldora on the dirt in the SRX car. Should be a good time. 100 lap feature. So watch Hayden continue to lead. Blake Giglio half second behind Cody Cleaver for second. 66 pit this time. John Garrett's going to make his way down. Will Ashbrenner's on the pit lane. A lot of cars going to hit here 34 laps in. Here's the one top to bottom. There's 77 Scrimetta. But a few cars stay out there. Here's the 77, the 1, and the 66. All hitting pit lane together. It's also bringing down, looks like, Vander Plaats, Matt Benke, J.R. Deal, Daniel Wallen. They're all hitting the pit lane. Six feet pitting. Hayden Lull, the race leader, also on the pit lane. So Jay Munch stays out. Now the Toyota and the 68 Toyota both coming down. 05 Chevy of Downey Jr. right behind them. The top three hit the pit lane. And those are the last three cars we were waiting to pit, I believe. Margison going to have an advantage here. Nice service. He passes the would-be leader, right. Hayden Lull, coming up the pit lane. But now Margison's tires are going to be 15 laps older. I could have got awkward because I was about to do the same thing. So we should see Margison take the lead for a lap or two. JR deals the new controller king. Yes, he is stuck on controller. There he is down in 19th, coming off the pit lane. And here is Margison going around the cars on the pit lane. We'll see if he makes it all the way back around the lead lap before Hayden Lull and the Napa Chevy resumes leading. He's already by Neckrich. Neckrich on the same strategy as Margison. They both hit the wall on the same lap. Margison having a blink or two. Remember Hayden's trying to deny him that lap lead. Looks like he's going for it. This is the inside. And Hayden will deny Margison a lap lead. How rude. Hayden Lowell back to the point. Margison already 17 laps into his run. Ethan Evers in second in the eighth machine. Cody Cleaver in third. Evers pitted three laps before those guys, so that's why he's up ahead of the two. Now Cleaver has three lap fresher tires in the number two. Should swing back to Cleaver's way. Giglio pitted one lap after Cleaver, so he's got the freshest tires of them all. And Jeremy Scher, Colin Teague, that's for seventh. Looking at the pit times, Will Ashabrander picked up a penalty. 31 car, 45 seconds in the pit, so he ended up getting a hold on pit lane. Tough break for the 31 team. Swing back to Hayden Lowell with a 1.23 second lead and gaining as Ethan Evers has Cody Cleaver battling for second. Cleaver to the inside line. The drag race down the backstretch, but I think ultimately the two will win this battle. In the background, you see Blake Giglio passing Margison. That was for fourth. And the deuce will clear the eight. Takes over second. Giglio is going to try to run down Evers. 1.1 the gap there. There's Margerson in fifth. Neckrich is sixth. Colin Teague seventh. Jeremy Scherer eighth. There still knows the tail. We have Montrose in ninth. Tremetta rounding out our top ten. Andrew Beach currently eleventh. And Jay Munch in twelfth. John Garrett thirteenth. Sam Vanderplatt fourteenth. Jake Lawrence fifteenth. Gatlin Downing sixteenth. Matt Benke running seventeenth. Daniel Wallen eighteenth. J.R. Deal fighting him for that 18th spot. Those are the last two cars on the lead lap. And then Will Ashenbrenner three laps down in 20th. There's Hayden and there's Cody. About a half second apart. Cody looks like he's pushing to catch Hayden. Hayden, I believe he's saving his tires. So they're on the same strategy tire-wise. Pitted on the same lap. Six laps to go for both. We've been green since the start. I believe it's a three-stopper for everybody. 
about every 30 to 35 laps. Watching this battle for the lead heat up. The two has run down Hayden Law. If you missed the pre-race, Hayden's very sick. Running 102 temperature. Here goes Cody Cleaver to the inside. Take it inside here. That was not the leader. Now they battle side by side to the line. Cody Cleaver is going to get the bonus point for the lap lead. Can you copy that again? I'm just telling you to take it inside. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, get it. So, Lowell charges back to the inside. I guess he didn't like the two of Cleaver getting past him. Cleaver going to do the crossover, dive back to the inside. Hayden's going to lead this lap. No, he's not. Cleaver got him at the line. He's having the equivalent of MJ's flu game. Yeah, having a great game out there. Now he's going to try to charge back to the inside of the two. So you head into three. You're going to run it, but you didn't get told the time. Mm. Well, it started about 32 minutes ago. <laughs> I was asking him where you were, Dustin. I did. I asked him where you were. We're to that part of the season where the riffraff has uh, weeded itself out and we get long green flag runs. So we've been green since the start. Scrimetta and Cher are battling. Up ahead, that is the 50 of Teague and the one of Montrose. That's for the fifth spot. Montrose on the charge, gets past Teague. Just immediately starts pulling away. Then you have Scrimetta and 15 of Cher. Cleaver's still right there on the tail of Hayden Lowell up front. Only 46 wave rounds. <laughs> Dustin would have been right there in the thick of the drama for sure last night. <laughs> I think he would have enjoyed that part of it. Scrimetta overhauls Colin Teague, takes over the sixth spot. Teague dropping back. Check in on Neckrich. Neckrich ahead of Andrew Beach, John Garrett, Jake Lawrence. I believe Margison was right there in the picture as well, along with Downey. Downey's going to go to the inside of Margison. That is for 14th. Move Downey up a spot. John Garrett looking to the inside here. Inside Andrew Beach in the 71. John Garrett will move up a spot. And maybe two as John Neckrich drifts back a little bit. John Garrett picks up two in one corner. Garrett up into the top 10. Hey, Jake Lawrence. Right there in the red and white Toyota. Lawrence gets by Neckridge and trying to get Beach as well. Lawrence has the freshest tires of this group. Only 12 laps since he's been on the pit lane compared to the 16 and 28. Remember Neckridge had that early pit stop with the fast repair after he hit the wall coming out of two. The other car with that strategy, Margison's even farther back in 16th. So those cars with the older tires really pay in the price right now. It was fun to watch. <laughs> Did the tail light on the SRX car work? What? No. It's honestly kind of fucking stupid. I'm honestly kind of fucking disappointed. I miss what we're talking about. They're I heard SRX. Why the Talladega though? I heard they don't draft well at all. Closing in on halfway, we're going to give away stage points at the end of halfway. Top 10 get a bonus. 10 points for first, 1 point for 10. That is about 10 laps away. Well, since it's last in chat, let's take a look at next week while Hayden stinks up the show. <laughs> we have our schedule here. Las Vegas tonight, so Iowa. We're going to the short track at Iowa in the cornfield next week. Then WWT Raceway Gateway and Martinsville to finish up the regular season. Quick look at the points. Hayden Mole, Blake Giglio, two wins piece at the top.
That's the right show for Iowa. Cleaver's falling back from our leader a bit. Now almost a full second back. Blake Giglio, two seconds back of Cleaver. Ethan, another 1.5 back. Montrose, another two. And Montrose has Scrabetta, half second back. And then two seconds back is Colin Teague. Half second back of him is Jay Munch. And then Scherer, close to there. John Garrett, last card in the top 10, has Jake Lawrence, Gatlin Alley, Andrew Beach, John Nickrich, and Sam Vanderplatz all stacked up behind him. So 10th to 15th running pretty close together. Closest battle by the numbers right here. As the Crocs forward looks inside the Artemis Esports number six. Vanderplatt going to take the low line, pick up the spot. So Neckrich continues to fall back on the older tire. I have to imagine those cars are about three to five laps away from having to pit as well once again. But that's getting them close to the green flag cycle. Lap 60 and just after lap 60, we'll probably see quite a few cars do their thing. What up, Frizzy? Checking on your boy JR Deal out there battling on controller, being a champion. It's toughing it out. 18th right now. J Munch Colin Teague trading seventh. The highlighter and the black and red Toyotas do battle. J Munch up the track. Colin Teague takes to the inside. Opens that invitation and says, Yes, I will go down there. Jeremy Scherer in the 15, watching from behind. All those cars for position. And John Garrett has Jake Lawrence right on his tail. And it's the battle for 10th between the 66 and 68. With the J. Munch, Teague, and Scherer. Neckrich trying to get on the pit lane. Looks like he spun out. Yeah, he did. John Neckrich in the six. Maybe a little too off on the brake bias there. Six car spins out, getting to pit lane, but we stay green as that was off the racing surface. Margison's completed his stop in and out. Currently shown one lap down. I'm sure he will cycle back to the lead again. But I think he's going to have one more pit stop than everyone else. I don't know, think he can normalize it back. I think he has enough laps. As we're closing in on halfway, give away those points. John Garrett trying to hold off Jake Lawrence for the final spot. Meanwhile, Scherer is working Colin Teague. That is for the eighth spot. Green since the start. Been a good race so far. Montrose and Scrimetta. This is for fifth. Kind of spread out in the top five, but fifth and sixth right there together. Then seven, eighth, and ninth are all together. And then tenth, eleventh, and twelfth are all together. Check out Hayden as he crosses the stripe. We're three to go. So we'll give away those halfway points. Daniel Wallen's gone a lap down. We have 16 cars in the lead lap. Jason Scrimetta. Neckridge, after his pit stop with the spin, has gone two laps down. Scrimetta looks to the inside of the one of Montrose. This is for fifth. Montrose doing well in that unsponsored Chevrolet. Trying to get a good showing so he can pick up a sponsor in that number one. Just trying to hang on to the six points that you get for the fifth spot at halfway. Meanwhile, Jay Munch, Colin Teague, Jeremy Scherer are all still in their battle. John Garrett's actually catching both the 50 and 15. Oh, Andrew Beach in the background having a bit of slap off the wall. That might give Vanderplatz the 13th spot. He's going to go to the outside, but we are on lap 60. Into this lap, we'll give away points for the halfway. Ethan Evers, surprising he's pitting early here. Ethan Evers gives up the stage points. That's usually not his style. Here we go. Hayden Lull off turn number four. Going to pick up the 10 points for halfway. As he works to lap the nine and six machines. Hayden gets the 10 points. Cleaver nine. Blake Giglio eight. 
Montrose will come through to pick up seven. Scrimetta, six. Jay Wench will pick up five. Colin Teague, four. Jeremy Share three. John Garrett, two. And Gatlin Downey as the caution waves. Jake Lawrence, oh, Good gets clobbered there. by Matt Banky. That sounds like Banky's oh, motor just blew. No. Jake's rear tire is very broken. We're going to have trouble getting that thing Maybe back around. Inch, Let's go back and see what happened. Normally when you see a car spinning, you try to avoid it and not go right towards it. Jake misses the pit lane. When you think it's going to keep going. Oh, that's fun, Travis. Sorry if I was pissing you off. And then he tries to drive away, spins it out, and clobbered. Go for the smoke and full throttle. Don't know what happened to Jake there. Now you're good, that fun. He obviously missed the pit lane. Something had to make, make smoke, so hopefully it's not there anymore. Am I going to get a black flag for Jake not in the bus? <laughs> 68, that's not how it's supposed to drive. If you need it, something can be arranged. I take my words back about free Neo. We already have a replacement. It's pit lane. Can I get a goes. passing under yellow flag cleared because Ethan didn't pass me? Thank you. Can I get it cleared too? It was because the 68 was not up to me yet. I got one as well. The field hits the pit lane. Everyone needs a black flag clear because no one waited for the wrecked cars. We'll wait to see how they file off the pit lane. I'm sure Hayden will maintain the race lead. And does. Cody Cleaver, Blake Giglio, Ian Montrose. Scrimetta and Jay Munch. John Garrett, 7th. Vanderplatt, 8th. Sharer, ninth. Downey in 10th. Lawrence rolls off the pit lane. Andrew Beach. Colin T. Lawrence did go a lap down. That wrecked machine. Let's see if anyone's still on the pit lane getting damaged. I thought didn't take my steel. A little y'all in it. Just a little. <laughs> Let's go in, check in with the 68 and see what the report is from that team. Jake, DG, you got a copy? What's going on, brother? Well, it looked like it was an adventure to drive that car back to the pit lane. First of all, what happened? Looked like you missed pit road? Yeah, I got loose coming in the pit road. Tires got hot trying to correct it, and it just hooked and did not want to go back straight. And then I got plowed from God knows where. The 35. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, it looked like it was uh, an interesting drive back to the pit lane. How hard was it to get back around? Uh, my wheel was... Pretty much uh, 90 and a half degrees. Uh, yeah, it, it was an adventure to get it to the pit road. I can tell you that. Thankfully, we weren't going at full I'm speed, so there was no way I was stopping it. I like the exact 90 and a half degrees. You are danger. <laughs> Very precise. <laughs> well, it so looked you know, like you, uh, the angles in there. you also want to lap down. Going uh, to have to figure out a way to get back on a lead lap. Do you have any strategy for that? Uh, just buckle in and hope to God that we get another go. Tan four. We'll see how it shakes out. Maybe somebody will miss their uh, pit lane we again. Get win. <laughs> Good Hopefully. luck to you. No. Thank you. I have faith in you. Jake Lawrence filling us in, missing the pit lane. Tires getting hot. Spins it out, trying to get back up to speed. Oh God, the admin jokes are going to be forever, not, aren't they? I don't have a shot. <laughs> I, can, I can make him an admin. Just kidding. Well, this is going to allow Margison to take the I'm wave gonna, around um, in the 88. Like Ethan Evers was also trapped a lap down. He'll get the wave around. And it looks like Neckrich is going to go from two laps down to one lap down. It's all three of those cars are between the pace car and our leader, Hayden Lowell. So Evers in the 8, Margison in the 88. He'll get the wave around. And Neckrich. You can give that to me later, Hayden. Also, with the wave around. I'm sick as shit. Have a 101 temp. You're so on it. Ugh. <laughs> Damn straight, that's when it's the best. <laughs> yeah, what's that got to do with it? Gross. So, Marge just said. It's not from the mouth. 
and Evers, 14th and 15th, getting back on lead lap. Margerson, Great, copy Edmund. Margerson is uh, 10 laps into his run, so he's going to have to pit in about 20 to 25 laps. It gets him pretty close to making it a one stop. He'd have to save a bit, but I think he could try to stretch that. He's the one that has to go the farthest. Neckrich pitted two laps later, so he's even better shape. And Ethan Evers had just pit. So Evers has been running up in the front of the field, top five most of the race. He gets kind of screwed over by that caution, drops the 14th, and is on older tires than everyone in front of him. Going to be an uphill battle from here on the 8 machine. Pace car is heading off. We're getting set for the restart here at the start of lap 66. Hayden Lowell choosing the outside. Going to go ahead and power back into the lead. Cody Cleaver, Blake Giglio, and Ian Montrose, your top four. And you have the battle for fifth. As Montrose watching this battle between his teammate Cleaver and the 16 of Giglio. I think Blake will settle in and save some tire. We'll go back and watch Jay Munch battle John Garrett for fifth. Jay Munch grabs that fifth spot. Garrett settles for sixth. Sharing share seventh. Vanderplatz eighth. Colin Teague ninth. And Andrew Beach tenth. This four pack of cars all on top of one another. A couple Chevys, a Toyota, and a Ford. Okay, Andrew Beach Going to try the outside of the Crocs forward and take the spot away. He gets a little tight coming off the corner. Pulls it off the wall. Fortunately, Vanderplatt's paying attention. No contact made. Beach will grab a ninth. Scrimetta going to go around the outside the 41 to take 10th. Vanderplatt's falls to 11th to Gatlin down. He's trying to take that away. Up front, Cleaver putting the pressure on Hayden. Saw Cleaver earlier with the short run speed. He gets right to the back of the 56. Staying in his tire track so far. Colin Teague working with Jeremy Shearer. Battle for seventh. Come back up to the lead. It's like the two of Cleaver trying to get to the outside now. Let's just watch the battle for the lead from the 16 car. Working lap 69. Jay Munch's favorite lap. Throttle there. Didn't completely come out of it. They stay side by side for that race lead between Hayden and Cleaver, the 56 in blue, the 2 in red. 16 car providing us with these awesome pictures of the battle for the lead. Let's go back with the 56 and 2 to the TV cameras. Still side by side for the lead here in Las Vegas. Lowell and Cleaver putting on a show up front. Aiden has the inside line though, probably being a little more gentle to his tires. Good kind of run Cleaver can get on that high side down the back stretch. Gets right up to Hayden's. Has to go the long way around to the corner, but gets a good drive off these corners from the high side. And Cleaver's going to lead this lap. Just little by little, able to inch ahead on Hayden. And Hayden takes the short way around. Cleaver brushing the wall there. We'll see if it slowed him down any. I don't think he ever even came out of the gas. He stayed flat-footed on that one. Jerry Scherer's disappeared. 
and reappeared back into the ninth spot. We stay with this battle for the lead. Looks like Cleaver dropping back a little bit now. Rides in the tire tracks of Hayden. We'll come back to that if they get side by side again. When I say that, they're trying to get side by side again already. <laughs> Cleaver probably wants to get to the bottom. I'm sure Hayden will defend that bottom like hell. Flick Giglio, meanwhile, third. In Montrose, then you have Jay Munch, John Garrett, Colin Teague, Andrew Beach. I feel like they've been together most of the race. Here they are again with Cher, Scrimetta, Downey, and Lawrence all in tow. Le Magician. Welcome in. Bienvenue. Salut, je m'appelle Pierre. <laughs> Battle with Jay Munch, Colin Teague, John Garrett. The leaders have once again gotten side by side, and now it's Cleaver to the inside. Bonsoir à vous aussi. Merci. They are side by side for the race lead down the backstretch. Hayden Long, Cody Cleaver. Sure, Hayden having a blast despite being sick. As he always says he'd rather battle than pull away for the win. Giglio in third, three tenths back. So while the top two battle, Giglio's inching back in. Montrose right there in the fourth spot, and Jay Munch Teague in a scrap behind him. That's Andrew Beach, Travis Meta, and the 15 of Share. Garrett's looking to the inside of Colin Teague. That's for six. Tries to get his Fort Worth Green Chevy up into the top six, and he'll clear Colin Teague and do it. Nice move there from Mr. John Garrett. Jay Lynch rides fifth. Montrose fourth. There is Giglio in third behind Cleaver and 56 Peyton Lull. The entire top 11 are within a second of one another. Nobody really making a big breakaway this time. Had one caution right around halfway. I think Hayden's tires are starting to win out. Giglio, this is his time to shine. He's been saving those tires best I could tell. He's been staying on the bottom. What up, Sean? Long time no see. Good to see you. Welcome in. Mr. Sean Purcell, hopefully you can get back in the race car soon. Looks like his tires are starting to fade, and here comes Giglio. And we're so steady in the 16. I <laughs> got you, Sean. Well, good to see you tonight. Cleaver up the hill. Giglio looks to the inside. This is for the second spot. Artemis Esports number 16. Hayden Lowell's going all the way to the apron. As he decided it is time to pit, what is going on? Race leader. Dives it to the inside and it's coming to the pit lane. Blake Giglio takes over the race lead. We'll see if this is a final pit stop for Hayden or if he has decided he is too sick. A one and two battle as Montrose gets past his teammate. It looks like Hayden Lowell towed it to the pit box and has left the server. There goes Colin Teague on a wild ride. All sorts of drama happening all at once. Colin Teague. Looks like he got a little out of shape coming out of turn number two and went for a ride. Hayden Lull, the sickness is just too much for him. He's pulled out of the race. Blake Giglio. Artemis Esports Chevrolet takes over the race lead. Ian Montrose, the unsponsored number one for the boys. Riding in second. Cody Cleaver, his teammate in third. Jay Munch, the ARC.io Toyota in fourth. John Garrett, Fort Worth Green Chevy in fifth. Travis Scrimetta, the Labor 12 Toyota in the sixth spot. Andrew Beach, the side pipe Chevrolet riding in sixth. Just ahead of Gatlin Downey, Jeremy Scherer. So all five of these cars are for position. Including Jake Lawrence in that 68. Oh no, Jake is one lap down. I forgot when he got that wreck, he went a lap down. So the four cars in front of them are all for position. 
J.R. Deal, Ethan Evers, 11th and 12th. Daniel Wallen, one lap down in 16th. Colin T in 10th. Went for that wild ride. Kind of lost the group ahead of him as a result. So Scrimetta, Beach, Downey, and Cher. Those are the four battling for position. Downey and Beach trade the seventh spot. See if Beach tries to cut it back to the inside. Looking out of turn number two, he's going to get alongside. Get Downey up off the bottom. There is the report from the 56. We got a message in that says, could not do it anymore. Too much pain in the body, head, and the bladder. So no relief driver for the 56. He went ahead and put it in pit lane. And we will have a different winner than usual tonight. Blake Giglio leads by eight tenths over Ian Montrose and Cody Cleaver, Jay Munch, John Garrett, your top five. And another second back, we have Travis Scrimetta, Gatlin Downey, Andrew Beach, and Jeremy Scherer. Here comes John Garrett to the bit lane. He's coming down to make his final stop with 35 to go. He wants to put the freshest tires on. Right on the outside of the pit window. 22 laps since he was last down pit lane. He is short pitting it the shortest you can pit it and hope it goes green the rest of the way. We'll see how that strategy works out for John Garrett. We'll certainly knock him off the lead lap while he waits for the cycle to go through. It's probably going to take another 12 laps for the entire cycle. A lot of these cars only 22, 23 laps since they were last on pit lane. Ethan Evers has joined his teammate. The 8 car coming down. Trying the super short, short pit strategy. Those drivers have to hope for it to stay green. We've only had one caution so far, and that was a result of a car missing pit lane. Sam Vanderplatt, J.R. Deal trade the tenth spot. J.R. Deal putting on a fine effort out there on controller tonight. It's this wheel still broken. Six of John Nickrich not battling here. He's a lap down. John Garrett after the pit, now 16th. So there he is. He's turning the fastest laps on the track. Interesting to see how his strategy plays out for him. Blake, one and a half seconds over Montrose, and Montrose has Cleaver J. Munch relatively close. Then a second back to Scrimetta. And he has Downey, Beach, and Scherer all still right there. The 68 of Lawrence, that red and white Toyota, not for position. Jake currently 13th, one lap down. He is in the lucky dog spot, should we get another caution. So far, he brought up the only one. Like Jay Munch has decided it's time to pit. Brings the ARC.io Toyota to the pit lane. Matt Benke, 35 team, also on pit lane. Benke, though, shown four laps down. Remember, Benke had that hard hit and toe. Scretta and Downey do battle. This is for fourth now. Downey having one of his best runs. He's had a good week in the 05 team. A good truck race. Here he is putting on the moves on Scrimetta for fourth. Damage comes off the pit lane. Should get passed by John Garrett. Garrett will become the first car that has completed a pit stop. Gets past the 69 of Jay Munch. Giglio continues to lead 2.3 seconds over Ian Montrose. Montrose and teammate Cody Cleaver. Second and third. Gatlin down now fourth. Scrimetta fifth. Jake Lawrence. Rolling it off the pit lane. John Nickrich right there as well. Those two cars both two laps down. They get back up to speed. Sorry about that. Someone's sorry about something. Kind of like Will Ashbrenner. Looked like two of Cody Cleaver were slowing down the pit. 
out of the third spot. First of our top three to hit the pit lane. Surely it won't be long before the rest follow him down. Can't stay out too late. Cleaver on the pit lane. Colin Teague's vanished. Blake Giglio is rubbing the wall. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Race leader all by himself, Blake Giglio, scrubbing off some speed on the wall. Gatlin Downey's bringing it down pit lane. He's going to spin it into the inside wall. That's probably going to be a penalty for the 05. Right as we had bragged about him having a good race. 05 locks it up, hits the inside wall probably too fast. It's Travis Scrimetta currently third. if Ian comes down. He does not. Scrimetta bring it out of third. Jerry Sherrill move up to the third spot. Watch the 77 roll down. Mantra's giving up pretty hefty time here. Losing about a second a lap. A little surprised he hasn't come down taking that fresh out of tires yet. Scrimetta on the pit lane dropping down. John Garrett's going to move up to sixth. Jeremy Sherry hits the pit lane. Remember Garrett's been on those fresh tires for a long while now. Cars behind him will start catching up and trying to pass him. Jay Munch has four lap pressure spot. tires. Woo! and just by Scrimetta picks up a spot. Four cars left in the lead lap during the cycle of pit stops. Looks like Jeremy shared down and away. As he starts to drop down the running order. J.R. Deal, Sam Vanderplatt, Ian Montrose, and Blake Giglio are the last cars to pit. Along technically with Daniel Malone and Lash Renner. Those cars have been out there a while. Well, Ashley Brenner, 33 laps is all he could do. He's coming down. Check in on the 05. You are right. He did not get a time penalty, so he slowed it down enough, but he paid the price using up his fast repairs. He bounced it off the inside wall. Sam Vanderplatt one brings betting. the Crocs forward to the pit lane. You just heard the report from the one team. He's going to be bringing it down. I think Blake Giglio also bringing it down. 35 laps, and they hit the pit lane. Giglio Montrose will watch for Deal, but he is about half a lap behind. And the top two hit the pit lane. JR Deal stays out. And JR will become the race leader. I don't know if he'll lead this lap. Nope, not quite. But he does take over the race lead. Gets into turn one as the leader. He can make it back around to the stripe before Keep anybody in else. Mind, ladies and gentlemen, JR Deal is now leading this race on the controller. If it gets official lap led, but yes, he is leading on controller right now. Saw a lot of flame out the pipe, maybe pitting here, and he is. If he can get back to the line before J Munch, he will lead a lap on the pit lane. I like booze. Here's Jay Munch. See if J.R. Deal makes the stripe here. It is official. J.R. Deal led this race for a lap. <laughs> Jay Munch going to take over the race lead here. John Garrett is falling behind Jay Munch. He was ahead of him. Race leader Giglio comes out in fifth, six seconds back, but he has very fresh tires. I'm sure he will make short work of all the cars ahead of him over the next 20 laps. 20 laps. Yet? Yeah. Everybody has pit Copy. for the final time. Everybody. All 19 cars still running. Have pit for the final time. They could come back down if the yellow comes out and take some tires. However, for green flag, we are done. Jay Munch running 30.77. 
Cleaver 30.44, so second place is quicker. As he has overtaken John Garrett. Garrett Ethan Evers, third and fourth, will probably be on the slide from here on out. Blake Giglio, five seconds back from the race leader, is the one to watch. Man, where's that caution? Over the next 20 laps. Make it happen, Kevin. Do it, no balls. Cody Cleaver starting to track down our race leader. If I catch this 66, we're going to have one. <laughs> Do it so the Andrews can review it. This is the battle for the lead. Jamie can't hold the bottom on the older tires. Cody Cleaver goes to the inside and it should be all but a formality. As Cody Cleaver leads that lap and takes over the race lead here at Las Vegas with 19 to go. He is hoping to get gone as Blake Giglio is trying to run him down. Giglio trying to get to the inside of Jake Lawrence, not for position. Jake, first car one lap down. A10 report is Duquesne's up one. That is exciting. Thank you, Rowdy. <laughs> Four seconds is far to go, but he has the freshest tires. Currently in the fifth spot, and it's coming down 3.9, 3.8. Cleaver, Jay Wunch, John Gear, Ethan Evers. And Evers about to lose that four spot to Giglio. As Blake gets to his inside. Right now, Cleaver's best friends are the two remaining cars between him and Giglio. 17 laps to go. Can Blake run down Cleaver? Cleaver trying to get lost. That gap still dropping 3.6 at the line. Hello. John Garrett, the next one up for Giglio to take down. Gets to the inside of the Fort Worth Green Camaro. And the Artemis Esports machine moves up into the top three. He gets past John Garrett going into turn three. Next one up is Jay Munch. Got a bit of a gap until he gets there. You can turn me, just don't let me lose position. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was expecting the, 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 the short uh, yay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, that was not intentional. So he says. I call bullshit. <laughs> Break. Quick, call the admin. See that gap shrinking quickly. Giglio charging in to catch Joel Munchel. 14 laps to go from Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Giglio still riding that bottom lane. We'll see if someone takes that away from him. He just stays stuck to that bottom and he will go right on by. Giglio takes over second. The last car left for him is Cody Cleaver out front. Gap is 2.1 and dropping. Blake has seven lap fresher tires than Cody Cleaver in at Vegas. That is a big deal. One point seven and closing. Blake's making up so much time. He will definitely get there. Will Cody Cleaver be able to defend at all is the question. I don't know if he can defend because there's so many lanes you can run in Vegas. I'm sure he'll try to take away the bottom, but as soon as he does, Blake probably has plenty to use the top line. Oh no, he won't run out of time. He's catching him quickly. <laughs> I mean, very quickly. 12 to go. It's about to be under a second. Yeah, he's catching him very quickly. <laughs> Plenty of time. Plenty of time. Blake might even lead the last eight laps. Unless Cleaver can put on a clinic on defense. <laughs> it's already down to a half second. I think Cleaver just rushed the wall too. Blake. Moves up to the high lane. Cleaver did take his air on the bottom. Can Cleaver defend? He's going to move up, try to put a block on, but Giglio 
just too quick. Gets to the outside as they go across the stripe. Ten laps to go from Las Vegas. We have a battle for the lead. Giglio to the top side. Cleaver tries to push him out and get the elbows out. Cleaver hungry for a win. Tired of these Hayden Lulls and Blake Giglio's winning everything. They ran out of room on the exit of the turn. Both of them slapped the outside wall here. Ten to go. Cleaver got it a little more than Giglio did. Cleaver back down to the bottom. Makes Giglio go to the top again. Blake in the 16, trying to get to the outside quarter panel, and does. He is alongside the two, and that's probably all she wrote. Blake Giglio gets the nose out in front, leads that lap with nine laps to go. Blake all the way up to the wall. Cleaver trying his best down low, but I think those tires just don't have it in them. And Blake Giglio takes over the race lead. Cody Cleaver falls to second. Ian Montrose has taken over third from Jay Munch, so the boys are back to 1-2. Jay Munch rides in fourth. John T. Garrett in the top five. Travis Scrimetta and company. Scrimetta, Downey, Evers, Beach, and Scherer are all within half a second of one another. So the battle really goes to the back half of the top ten. We'll hang out here and watch this as this is the closest battle on track between Downey and Scrimetta. Less than two tenths separate them. As the battle up front is done and spreading out over a second already between Giglio and Cleaver. Also have Beach and Scherer. That battle under two tenths. I'll keep an eye on both of those for you. Scherer has two lap pressure tires. We'll see if that matters. The 15 car in the circle Chevy. Trying to take on the side pipe spit and Venom Dale Jr. throwback. Just ahead of them, that's Ethan Evers. Red number eight. Sharer gets to the outside of the 71. And completes the pass. Jeremy Sharer up to the ninth spot. Check back in on the Scrimetta and Downey. Haven't missed a thing here. Downey's just a little bit closer. About even on tires. Scrimetta's actually one lap fresher. They're both catching John Garrett. Downey puts on the move on Scrimetta now. They'll probably lose Garrett. We'll see if they work together to get by Garrett and then fight, or if they go to town fighting now. John Garrett probably hoping they do. Frankly, somebody needs to wreck. Downey is a big shot <laughs> for these other teams. We have five oh, laps no. to go. John, I saved the car. <laughs> Blake continues to lead as the laps are winding down here in Las Vegas. Be four to go when he crosses the line. He has 2.3 seconds now over Cleaver's. Cleaver's fading back to his teammate. Montrose now one second behind Cleaver. Could see a change for second with the final four laps here. Yes, I said final four on purpose because it's hoops time. Then these three are all for position. This is fifth, sixth, and seventh. Garrett, Scrimetta, and Downey. Meanwhile, Scherer and Evers, Scherer on the march, gets past Evers. Evers, again, 30 laps on his tires, 20 laps for these other guys. He's going to be fading here with the final handful of laps. Back to this trio. I don't want to be this guy, Daniel, but what you guys fuck up? <laughs> no, they won't fuck off. They'll fuck off on you, buddy. Actually, they're going to grab you right by the tailpipe. Downey surges inside Scrimetta. Look at the drivers hoping for that caution to get some final momentum here late. Just hasn't worked out for those drivers. Ethan, Ethan I'm going to have to pass you. <laughs> Ethan Hebers back in ninth. Hearing Andrew Beach saying he's going to have to pass him. Scrimetta able to hang on to sixth as he looks inside John Garrett. Yeah, I'm too tired. I'm not passing. Two laps to go from Las Vegas. Blake Hang Giglio well in control. Ethan Evers does not have the fuel to make it. He short pit a little too much. And that means John Garrett's in a hell of a spot if he's trying to make it to the end. John Garrett pitted one lap earlier than Ethan Evers. White flags in the air for Blake Giglio. Travis Scrimetta gets by John Garrett. John fights back to the inside, cross the line. This is our most entertaining battle on track as Montrose has not run down his teammate Cleaver yet. 
Garrett trying to hold off these two cars, Scrimetta and Downey. Looks like he's not going to be able to do so, at least for the time being. As both of them power by on the outside. Meanwhile, we'll check in on Giglio as he comes off turn number four. Blake Giglio's Artemis Esports Camaro are going to pick up the win here in Las Vegas. Cody Cleaver will come home a distant second. Montrose just behind him in third. Then we get J-Munch across the line fourth, and we check back in on Scrimetta and Downey. They both get by John Garrett. Then you have Jeremy Shear, Ethan Evers falling back as Andrew Beach gets by him. Oh, Garrett. Evers gets across the line in 10th. Margison 11th. Evers ran out of gas there, coming out of turn number four. Andrew, man. Only lost one spot. J.R. Deal. I think he's out of gas. Jake, you quit running. He can't be out of gas. It's 20 laps. He should not be out of gas. But he's not crossed the line yet. <laughs> part of my race right there. He's going to finish 13th either way, but will he finish the race or not is the question. As we watch J.R. Deal putt-putt to the line. He's going to get a push from his teammate. Here comes Jake Lawrence yep, in the 69. Race, going to get him to the line. Unless he short pit his fuel, you know what I mean? Like, did take a full fill when he pit 20 laps ago. <laughs> he gets the push to the line. And there you go. J.R. Deal will officially finish the race and in 13th. Blake Giglio, your winner. Already knocked the back end of it off celebrating. Jake, I want you to know you're a bitch. <laughs> Let's see if Giglio is hanging out in chat anywhere. Hopefully he drops in the waiting room. He did. Thank you, Blake. Let's go ahead and pull him in while he celebrates. Blake, DG, you got a copy? How's it going? It's going great. You brought that Artemis Esports home in the victory lane here at Las Vegas. How did that feel to get that win done? Yeah, it felt good. Um, I think we had something for Hayden if he stayed. Um, I needed just to catch back up. I missed qualifying, started at the tail. So when we got the yellow, I caught back up and I was saving good right behind them both. And I think I would have had a shot there. It would have been a good race with Hayden. But um, other than that, it was a pretty good race. I'm glad we were able to come home and uh, get back with a win and get back on track. Yeah, it definitely seemed like you were just kind of lurking in the weeds, waiting, biding your time to get towards the end of the race and then make you move. Uh, and that, that's just basically what you just confirmed to me. But, hey, you get the win, take them how you can get them. Is that right? Yeah, right. It sucks. I like racing hard with Hayden. Oh, it's not fun. But it's all right. Cleaver, get, we need Cleaver had a good strategy. I think I just, I, if I hit it a little bit, or if he put it a little bit later, I think it would have been really, really close. Well, we get the win tonight. You got the Friends Family Sponsor shoutouts for us. Yeah, shout out to me broadcasting. Uh, Quick, CDC, don't RMC to count Sports, yet. all those guys over there. Um, oh, I have drawn a blank. Liver 12, or no, not Liver 12. Port with screen printing. It's not, mean not Liver 12. And Liver 12. Always. And Liver 12. 12. I was looking for the series sponsor. Shout out to those guys. Shout out to all our series sponsors for what they do here. <laughs> Let us race. And, uh, yeah. 10-4. Well, congrats on the win. I'm sure your Artemis team will be fired up for that. And uh, we'll see you back here, hopefully, in the next one. Blake Giglio bringing it home in the victory lane tonight. Let's go ahead and drag in the boys. Cleaver getting the better of the two. Cleaver, DG, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Well, we brought it home in the top three. Brought it home second, just ahead of Montrose. Montrose was closing down on you there at the end, but it looked like he just kind of ran out of laps to get by you. Uh, how was it out there? How much fun did you have here at Vegas? I had a lot of fun. I got to do some racing. I kept it clean for once in my goddamn season. <laughs> I'm happy. I am very happy. It looked like it was only a lot thing, of fun. The only thing I've got a gripe about is Hayden Law quitting and ruining the entire reason I was racing him so hard. Because you wanted to beat him? Uh, no, I wanted him to actually have to face Blake, and then maybe I could beat him. 10-4 <laughs> well uh, Hayden unfortunately is sick tonight but I'm sure you'll take this second place anyway just uh, a little less excitement in it but hey a top a top two in this this league is, is nothing to shake a, a stick at I don't know why you'd shake a stick but you know that's what they the saying is yeah the big old metaphorical stick I mean you leave my big old metaphorical stick out of this okay ooh <laughs> <laughs> you got the but, friends family and sponsor shout outs before we get cancelled uh yeah let's not do that tonight um yeah uh shout out to well first off let me shout out you thanks for broadcasting this uh hopefully it was a fun race for you to watch and commentate on uh, I, enjoyed I provided it. try to provide some entertainment there in the middle of the race so um thanks for doing that thanks to john and fort worth screen printing for putting this on thanks to ian being teammates we had fun there with uh different strategy calls and seeing how it all played out so yeah appreciate all the way around very good. Get on out of here. Enjoy your fun finish tonight, and hopefully we'll see you back for at least two of the races tomorrow. 
Uh, sounds good to me, DG. Have All a good right. one. Take care, bud. Cody Cleaver brings it home in P2. Now we'll go grab the one car, Ian Montrose. Ian, DG, do you have a copy? Yep. Yes, sir. Well, how are you, sir? Uh, it looked like it was a lot of fun out there. You and Cody, a little bit different strategies, and you were catching them there at the end. Maybe needed, I don't know, about five more laps. You might have had a battle with them, but you still bring it home P3 in a, a mostly green flag race tonight. It had to be fun. Yeah, it was really fun tonight. Um, and, you know, it got tight. The cars got really tight towards the end of the stint, so, uh, you know, if you could fuel, uh, sorry, tire save, then it would really make it more fun towards the end of your stint. But, uh, no, it was kind of cool being on the opposite strategy. You know, you always wonder if you should have followed your teammate in and, and stuck together, or if you stuck it out and do your own thing, what was going to be the negative or positive for it. But uh, to see us both here on a podium at the end, uh, you know, that's a, it's a good sign. It means that either way you're fast. Sam 4, we had a great night out there tonight. Unfortunately, we didn't get the decals correct, so it looks like you're an unsponsored car again this week, but you have the friends, family, and shout-outs for us. I need to do what... Uh... Kurt Busch did and put the the tiger back on the front and was it the tiger or the <laughs> yeah, lion the or whatever cougar. cougar yeah the cougar the cougar um, I like the anyway. cougar but what sponsor is it me <laughs> 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 no I just uh, appreciate you tonight uh, calling the race and dealing with the BS <laughs> like last night oh yeah last uh, night was a good time it was a fun time it was a great time it was uh, very great entertaining time by all. Uh, <laughs> but I also I just want to thank um, Cody Brown for putting on the league Hell yeah. Um, Fort Worth Screen Printing for sponsoring it. Thank you, John Garrett. Appreciate you, dude. Hell yeah. I uh, appreciate my teammates. Uh, and I think I got everybody, right? Thank Sounds myself. pretty good to me. Yeah, thank yourself. Thank, thank myself. Fuck it. You know, you got to be thank nice to yourself. Thank me for being here. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Exactly. You got, a, you got a P3 out of it. So there you go. There you go. It'll work out in the end. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow in the Mazas. And hopefully you murder Harry again, because God, that was funny. Oh. <laughs> it, happened in, it happened in slow motion as well. I'm like, no. oh, so good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bud, get back out here tomorrow night. We'll uh, we'll have some fun. All right, take care, buddy. Bye. Ian Mantra is bringing it home P3 tonight in the Fort Worth Screen Printing Xfinity Series. Let's go ahead and run through our final results as we try to get some background imagery going on. I promise I am actually doing things right now. <laughs> Don't worry, we're getting there. We're just trying to find Blake out on track again as it keeps jumping into Cody's car. There we go. Let's get Blake actually doing something as it goes back to Cody again. It really likes Cody. <laughs> That's no idea what to do right now. I broke everything. I broke everything. It's okay. We'll back it up until we see Cody on track. And then we'll do final results because I'm just determined at this point. We're going to freaking do it. There we go. <laughs> Made it work. Let's go ahead and run through our final results. Thank goodness. Blake Giglio getting the win tonight ahead of the two of Cody Cleaver, the one of Ian Montrose finishing on the podium. Jay Munch and Travis Kermetta pick up top five. Good runs for both of those Toyotas. Gatlin Downey, John Garrett, Jeremy Sherry, Andrew Beach, Neath Nevers round out your top ten. Page two, we have Zach Margison, Sam Vanderplatt, J.R. Deal, John Neckrich, Daniel Llewellyn, Jake Lawrence, Colin Teague, Matt Benke, Will Asherbanner, and Hayden Lowell. And our final finisher tonight will be Trenton Sneed as he was leading the race when the storms came through and knocked him out. So rough break for the 81, popping the engine in the thunderstorm. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors that helped make the Sidewinder Leagues go round. They include, if we can get to the sponsor slide, <laughs> Wild Horse Broadcasting. They do our Monday Night Arca Series. Rev Sim Shop does our Tuesday Dirt Street Sock Series. A lot of fun there. And then we have Labor 12, putting on our Truck Series every Tuesday night. Awesome rock band out of Lubbock, Texas. If you haven't checked them out, please do so. Arc Music does our Wednesday Night Gen 4 Cup Series. Good time had there. Fort Worth Screen Printing did this Xfinity race you just watched here. And then Golden Eagle Syrup, they'll do our Super Speedway Series on Fridays. And then CTC Race Network, they put on the IndyCar Series on Friday. A lot of fun. So come check all that out tomorrow. Appreciate everybody that helps make these Highwinder Racing Leagues go around. All the admins, all the staff, everyone that puts in the volunteer hours and makes it awesome. You can join our community too. Just head on over to DGSRacing.com. Click the big red snake. That'll take you to our Discord. And you can sign up to run any of our nine different leagues. We'd love to have you. Appreciate you watching tonight. Come on back tomorrow for our triple header. And we'll see you later.